Xbox One X vs PlayStation 4 Pro Which powerhouse should you get? With the release of the Xbox One X, starting at $499, Microsoft's most powerful console yet, the company has raised the bar on console performance. But it still has some stiff competition from Sony's $399 PlayStation 4 Pro. Both focus on 4K gaming and streaming. But there are plenty of differences. Though the Xbox One X is more powerful technically, it's far more expensive than the PS4 Pro, and Sony has one heck of a backlog of exclusives that Microsoft is slowly trying to combat. The PS4 Pro has a VR headset available now, and we don't know when we'll see one for Xbox One X. We put the two consoles through 10 rounds of combat to figure out which one you should get. Also be sure to check out our review for both systems, read up on the Xbox One X here, and the PS4 Pro here. Microsoft Xbox One X Sony PlayStation 4 Pro Price $499 $399 CPU 2.3 GHZ, 8 cores 2.1 GHZ, 8 cores GPU AMD Polaris Architecture, 6 Teraflops AMD Polaris Architecture, 4.2 Teraflops 4K, HDR support yes yes VR support not yet yes key exclusives Gears of War. Halo, Forza Uncharted, The Last of Us, Bloodborne for a console that packs power, the Xbox One X is nice and compact, at 11.8 x 9.4 x 2.3 inches. However, it's a weighty 8.4 pounds. Microsoft calls it the smallest Xbox ever, but it's only the slimmest, the existing Xbox One S is 11.6 x 9.1 x 2.5 inches, so it's smaller in other dimensions. The new Xbox comes only in matte black, as opposed to the Xbox One S, which comes in white and red, and it looks pretty bland. It's just two stacked rectangular boxes. It's not ugly by any means, but it's not any sort of radical new approach to Xbox either. Illustration, Tom's Guide The PlayStation 4 Pro is larger all around, at 15.6 x 11.6 x 2.6 inches, but lighter, at 7 pounds. It's our stack of three pieces of black plastic, it looks like a PS4 and another half on top, which is modern and visually appealing, but on the bulky side. Winner, Xbox One X. It may not be much of a redesign, and it's quite heavy. But you can't argue with fitting a bunch of power into a compact space. The Xbox One and Xbox One S had plenty of ports, and the One X continues that tradition. Besides its power port, it offers three USB 3.0, one on the front, two on the back, HDMI in and out ports, IR out, SPDIF and an Ethernet jack. As with the Xbox One S, there isn't any direct input for Kinect. On the Xbox One S, it required an adapter, and that's the case here as well. The PS4 Pro has a pair of USB 3.0 ports on the front and another on the back. The back of the console is also where you'll find the HDMI out port, optical out port, Ethernet jack, auxiliary port and power port. Winner, Xbox One X. While otherwise similar, the Xbox One X HDMI out and HDMI in ports let you use it to pass your cable box's signal through your Xbox so you can watch TV on your game console. The Xbox One X is incredibly powerful on paper. It has a new custom 8-core CPU clocked at 2.3 GHz, and an impressive new custom GPU clocked at 1.17 GHz. This GPU includes features from AMD's Polaris architecture, and offers up to 6 teraflops of computing power. That easily outclasses the Xbox One S, which has 1.4 teraflops. The Xbox One X also has 12 GB of GDDR5 RAM. Microsoft says this is enough for rock-solid 4K, 3840x2160, gamma play at 60 frames per second. The Xbox One X also supports high dynamic range, as well as AMD's FreeSync to prevent screen tearing. The PS4 Pro has the same AMD processor as the original PS4, but it has been overclocked to 2.1 GHz. The PS4 Slim is clocked at 1.6 GHz.
The 8-core GPU also includes features from AMD's Polaris architecture and offers a formidable 4.2 teraflops of computing power. It has less RAM, 8 GB, than the Xbox One X. Its boost mode has led to increased frame rates in some PS4 games, but user and press reports have stated that frame rates aren't always consistent. Some of this variability depends on the game. For example, PS4 exclusive Horizon Zero Dawn ran capped at 30 FPS, while outputting at 4K on the PS4 Pro. Winner, Xbox One X simply put, its CPU and GPU are more powerful than the PS4 Pros, and Microsoft is promising 4K gamma play at 60 FPS. More, PS4 Pro review, the 4K console to beat here's an easy one. The PlayStation 4 Pro can utilize the PlayStation VR headset. The $399 device is also compatible with the original PS4 and PS4 Slim, and it plays games such as Batman, Arkham VR and Resident Evil 7 in virtual reality. Credit, Jeremy Lips Tom's Guide, although Microsoft is working on headsets that will be compatible with Windows 10 PCs, it has made no announcements about VR on the Xbox One X. In an interview with Polygon, technical fellow Alex Kipman said the company is focusing on that effort and that console VR should be wireless. Whether the Windows 10 headsets, which launched this fall, will ever be 